Welcome back, dear viewers, to our somber yet enlightening segment here on Secret Untold, where we explore the final moments and parting words of remarkable individuals who have left an indelible mark on our world. Today, we delve into the incredible life and career of the prestigious bread actress Jean Bolt. As we send our deepest condolences to her family and fans, we honor her memory by recounting her last poignant words before she graced the final curtain. So grab a cup of tea, folks, and join us in this bittersweet journey. Jean Boat, known for her radiant presence on the stage and screen, left an unmistakable legacy through her standout roles in theater, film, and television. Even in her final moments, she offered a profound glimpse into her artistic spirit and shared wisdom. Jean Boat, a name that evokes passion and talent, has sailed into the great beyond, yet her words resonate with us still. Moments before her eternal curtain call, Jean uttered words that reflect her dedication to her craft and her appreciation for those who supported her throughout her sensational journey. Jean Boat, to all aspiring actors and actresses, my dearest advice would be to embrace fear, for it indicates growth. Step boldly onto the stage and life and allow your light to touch others' hearts. Be tenacious in your pursuits, my darlings, and remember that every rejection is merely an opportunity for a grander success. Jean Boat's determination and resilience shine through her words, imparting wisdom honed over decades of experience. Her final message was not only for fellow thespians, but for anyone who dares to chase their dreams with fiery passion. From a young girl with dreams, Jean defied the odds, forging a remarkable path that continues to inspire generations. Her empowering words remind us of each step forwards, bringing us closer to our own stage of triumph. As we celebrate the life and incredible career of Jean Boat, we're reminded that her words are but a small part of her lasting impact. Through her memorable performances, she skillfully transported audiences into the world of theater, captivating their hearts and souls on each line delivered. Jean Boat, a vibrant star who graced both the silver screen and the stage, bid adieu with words filled with gratitude and passion. Her artful talent and infectious enthusiasm will continue to echo through time, inspiring those who dare to dream and push boundaries. Bot also appeared in sitcoms I Woke Up One Morning and Brighton Bells and the drama Boys from the Black Stuff. The news comes a month after the death of her husband, composer Carl Davis. A statement from her family said, it is with overwhelming sadness that we must announce that Jean Bode passed away yesterday, Tuesday, September 12th. The statement added, Jean had been battling vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease with the indefatigable spirit which she both beloved and renowned. Born in Babington on the Wirral, Bode began her career and stage at the Liverpool Playhouse in the early 1960s before performing around the UK on TV. She gained roles like Miss Livers in the 1981 adaptation of D. H. Lawrence's novel Sons and Lovers and Benefits Office Boss in Alan Blaisdell's Landmark Boys from the Black Stuff. A part in sitcom I Woke Up One Morning about a group of recovering alcoholics led her to be cast in Bread, which was also written by Clara Lane. She soon became known around the country as the formidable Nellie Boswell, who was constantly attempting to keep her large Liverpool family in check. The show was a big hit, with 21 million viewers tuning in to watch a wedding episode in 1988, making it the second most popular show of that year, behind only EastEnders. I never watched it at the time, it's too horrendous for actors to see themselves on screen, so I had no idea what it looked like, she told the Liverpool Echo in 2012. But now when I catch it, I am just astounded as how good it was and how very funny, she added. Boat was named BBC TV personality in 1988 by the Verity Club of Great Britain and won the prize for Top TV Comedy Actress at the British Comedy Awards in 1990. Golden Girls Remake She also appeared in Terence Davies' acclaimed 1988 movie Distant Voices Still Lives. In 1993, she landed a lead role in Brighton Bells, the British remake of the hit US sitcom The Golden Girls, alongside Sheila Hancock, Wendy Craig, and Sheila Gish. Bot played Josephine, the new version of Estelle Gates' character Sophia, from the American original. However, the UK remake failed to take off. Later, she boasted that playing five different roles in the BBC's medical soap opera, Doctors was a record for the show and she continued performing on the stage, including in Embers with Jeremy Irons in London's West End in 2006. 
Her family statement said she had been living in Denville Hall in London, a care home for actors and other members of the entertainment industry. As we bid farewell to a true luminary, let us remember Jean Boat as a beacon of inspiration. Her last words invite us to chase our own dreams and to let our spirits shine brightly, just as hers did throughout her extraordinary life. May her memory live on, forever etched in the annals of our hearts.